Hey fishos, uh, welcome to Attic Tackle How To's. My name's Jason. Um, today I'm going to touch base on a bit of sharpening, on your filleting knives, things like that. So detrimental when it comes to good fillets for your yield, getting everything off that fillet is a quality knife. In saying that, just as detrimental is a quality steel. So if you can start with those basics first, good quality knife, once you've got that edge, they come with a nice sharp edge as it is. You'll be able to fill it straight away, do your thing. Don't be afraid to touch it up when you put it away each time. Touching it up each time after you use it with a good quality uh, kitchen steel, diamond steel. Um, sometimes you've got to spend 100 bucks, 130 bucks on a good steel, but you'll have it for years. And it just makes that difference between spending 15 minutes to get an edge on your knife to four or five swipes and you're back to shaving the hair on your arms again. Um, so that's a key pointer. So I'm gonna, I've got a demo knife here to give you guys a, a quick explanation uh, on how to get an edge back on a knife. So if the knife's quite blunt, um, it won't do nothing for you. Steel is your finishing process from for, filleting your, uh, for sharpening your knives. The stone, if you've got a dead blunt knife, you must start the edge again with a stone. So stone's got a harsh side, and a smooth side. So if the knife's dead blunt, we'll always start on the harsh side. So I'll use a little bit of uh, very, very fine oil. Some people use a bit of saliva, a bit of water is always good, but a very fine oil is the next best way to do it. So if you should get yourself uh, in a nice flat environment, and I'll always start at the tip of the knife, um, you keep a basic sort of angle on your knife. There is degrees that you should do. Um, which that's a whole more intricate on what you want to do. But if you get that basic edge and angle on the edge that you've already got, you've already got enough to get your knife going and started, so to speak. So I'll always push away from myself on the edge, and unfortunately it's coming back to me on this same side. So once I've done that, you've rejuvenated the edge on your knife. Um, you can flip it to the smoother side of your stone and start working the smoother side to get that edge. Once I've done that, I will get to my steel. So your steel, same deal. There's a few applications, simple process, jam it into your chopping board, get that angle on your knife and run down, run down. No, none of this double swiping backwards and forwards, run down each way. And you can work the tip of your knife, you can work the whole length of your knife in getting that. Wrist action is detrimental, so Japanese side of it, they will hold their arm directly straight in front of them. No bend in your elbow whatsoever. Arm straight out with your knife and you work your wrist. Key pointer for you guys, safety wise, when you're using a steel, is your steel will have a, an edge on each side. So a protection for your fingers. As I'm about to sharpen, I get my thumb and I tuck it behind that point on the steel as a safety process. So when you're swiping that knife, it comes too close to that back edge, you're tapping that steel instead of knocking the top off your thumb. So don't cut yourself. You work your wrist at that angle, nothing else, you will get the right angle on your blade to get that knife going. So it's quite simple, uh, but the hard, the things that make it hard are cheap shit steels and cheap shit knives. So don't be afraid to get a bit of quality. Uh, so Probably one of my favourites will be these martinis um, from Rapala on that. Crack and knife, easy edge to keep going. There's a couple of variants, uh, more expensive and a cheaper variant, which is quite good. You've still got flex. Too much flex for your filleting can hinder you and wreck your fillet, so you only want a little bit of flex, not a great deal. Um, same with your, your mustads. They do a great one as well, sort of thing. Um, very simple knife. These guys for that $43 uh, price point, they keep an edge on them, they're black, the rust stays off them. People think they will rust up, but they don't. Um, so still quite good. Um, if you can master those couple processes, takes a bit of time to get your edge. Um, your fish filleting will take a whole nother level, be a lot cleaner, and you'll get every bit of fillet off that fish instead of leaving it half there. 